Hey, we got widescreen now, guys, which is awesome. Um, okay, so I'm just kind of taping through a little bit. We, we ran out of tape on the last tape, so we had to switch things around a little bit. That's why things are a little different. But I'm just heading on. I put in these angles. I'm, I'm doing this 120 bead. Um, but what I, I really wanted to show you, too, when I'm doing this stuff, is uh, when I go to put this corner bead on right here, it's going to be a little different. Um, because ooh, it's got to come down so that looks good it's not crooked for my house it looks great for my house how's it look from your house all right i think that's okay um but when i got here and i put this up if you notice this is the way they hung this and the, the builders hung this. My, my drywall hangers did not hang this. But the way the builders hung this, I've got a big lip up here. So I'm going to try something here. I'm going to put this piece on. I'm going to put this piece on. And I'm just going to try to float this in. And I'll put this one on. I'm going to let this in. And then I'll stick this up. And I'm going to try to leave it right there. Wipe this down, and if you notice how I bead this out a little bit, that's so I can float this and feather this in some. I'll feather it in a little bit with this Durabond, but it'll, it'll feather out much better with the other materials that I use too, because I can do it. I can do it a couple, couple three times, and I shouldn't have an issue with it in the long run. At first, it's not going to look the greatest, but when I'm all done, you should never know. All right. Now when I go to put this piece in, again, this is my note coat, and I'm doing another off angle, uh, 120 bead. I'm going to mud this up, like this. We'll get to this fiberglass mesh tape in a minute, too. I'll mud all of this up. And then all I really have to do, all I really, really have to do, is just pinch this a little bit more. Now I'll pinch this a little bit more. Oops. Hey, we, don't, we don't like the oops here, but we end up oops in here a lot. Where's my snips? Find my snips. This is a little long yet. Uh, here we go. I'm just going to snip this off a little bit here. Hopefully that works. If not, we blame the cameraman. Blame the cameraman. Never admit to anything and always blame everybody else. Oh, that worked very well. So, now I lined up those two so it's floated it all out. It should be, it should be perfect. It actually should be absolutely perfect by the time this Duramon sets up and, and by the time I get this mudded up and, and done, I shouldn't have a problem. You know, when you're just dealing with drywall, everything planes out pretty good. But when you're meeting drywall to plaster, plaster could just be all over the place. So you really never know what you're going to get. So since I'm right here, let me tape this angle real quick. Since I'm right here, I'm about to move this up anyway. My tape. And... This time I'm going to do the take the right direction because I'm going to fold it the right direction. It folds much easier that way. It really does. There's no doubt about it. Um, but especially with, with, with flats, it doesn't, you can really go either way. It really doesn't matter because you're going to be mudded all in anyway. You're never going to know. It's just not going to make that much of a difference. Um, but uh, in a bazooka, it makes a world of difference. The tape definitely has a right side and a wrong side when you're running it through the gun. There's no way you're going to run it through a bazooka and crease this backwards. It's just not going to happen at all. So there's definitely a right way and a wrong way in the bazooka. I'm out of mud. I need to grab another pan of mud. This feels really good. This mud feels really good. It's, uh, whoever mixed it up did the right the right job for that. Oh, man, that was me. Um, now, 
I put the spray glue on. What I do is I kind of look for any bubbles that I might have in here because this stuff tends to want to bubble up sometimes. And that's why you see all the ink on there. I put some more spray glue on just to make sure I can get everything down. And it's, a, it's tacky. It's good. It's going to hold all this horse hair plaster together now. But I have to coat it. It all has to get coated out solid. So now I'm just going to coat all of this out with the Durban. And this is my base coat. If you ever look at plaster carefully, you have a base coat and you have a finish coat. Well, Durabond can be used as a base coat if it's applied properly. Um, otherwise, you can use thin set, you can use other things, GIF set, you can use, you can use, there's a lot of products out there. I just use Durabond. I use the real stuff. I put this on here. It gets hard like concrete. You won't have any problems with it. But all I can do right now, literally, is that. That's all I can do. I will take this angle right here. When I put my second coat on here, I will take this angle. Um, everything else I can take. Now, if, I don't know if you can come downstairs and see. I don't know how good the lighting is. But if you see, I taped all of these seams because this is plaster and this is drywall. I taped all of these seams with this fiberglass mesh tape. And all I have to do now is float it in a little bit one coat. This is this is my first coat. I have to put at least two more coats on top of this Durban. So this is basically my tape coat. So I gotta, this is my tape, and then I gotta top it, and I have to skin it. So that's where I'm at right now. And that's all I have to do right now is just finish doing all this plastering. And I'm, and I'm doing it actually with no drop cloths on the floor. So I kind of have to be careful. I do believe they're going to refinish these stairs but I don't know for sure. Uh, but it's probably not wise to do what I'm doing without at least something on the floor to cover this up. But you know what? I'm just gonna blame the camera guy again. <laughs> you guys have a great day. I'm, I gotta get to work. I wanna thank you for watching. Um, I hope it's educational. I hope you've learned something. Uh, so if you really like what you see, please subscribe.